In today's interview, we will talk about safe use mixer information, or SUMIs, something you can see that not everybody is familiar with. I would say, spot the differences. The two people that are helping us to identify a good mix of safe use uh, information are Janice Robertson of CEPI uh, and Leo van der Biesen of Royal Haskoni DHV. In every interview this week, we start with the question, what were you doing in 1996? Um, Janice, you're currently uh, Director of Product Regulations at CEPI. Since this year, you're also chairing the DUCC, the Downstream Users of Chemicals Coordination Group. What did you do in 1996? Well, Chad, I'd love to tell you I was still at school, but unfortunately that would be a lie. Um, I was in fact already working in the paint industry. Uh, I was an R&D project leader uh, working on industrial coatings, looking at ways to improve efficiency of coating and to reduce resource usage. Interesting, very interesting. And uh, Leo, you're currently working as an industrial hygienist at Royal Hoskoning uh, DHV. What were you doing in 1996? In 1996, I was working at the largest uh, environmental health safety provider in the Netherlands. And we were mainly focused on methods to ensure health and safety within the construction companies because that was really needed at the time. Returning to today, uh, Janice, one of the requirements of REACH is the communication on exposure scenarios of substances uh, down the supply chain. Uh, DUCC has crafted a bottom-up approach uh, in the supply chain for the safe use of mixtures. With two key elements, uh, sweats and sumis. Um, let's start with sweats. Can you explain what sweats are and how they can be used? SWED, or a sector-specific worker exposure description, is um, it's a set of operational conditions and risk management measures for a particular use of a mixture. So it describes how, how that, that mixture is used by a worker uh, and it, and it characterises all of the parameters that are necessary for an exposure assessment of that use. Leo, which benefits do you see for a registrant uh, in using a sweat in the preparation of the worker's chemical safety assessment? Well, there are two main benefits. First of all, uh, it's a realistic description of the operational conditions and risk management measures under which the substances are being used. So if you make a chemical safety assessment based on that input, then the end result will be correct or it will adequately describe the risk of your substance. Secondly, it takes away lots of the hard work you normally need to do as a registrant in order to get that information because the downstream user associations have already done it. And if they were, are going to prepare them in a format which can be imported into Kiza, that would be the cherry on the pie. Okay, and uh, Janice, for, can you explain what a SUMI is and how it fits in the information needs of end users? Yes, uh, SUMI is a safe use of mixture information document and it's, it's a communication format for this, this reach related exposure information on the mixture and uh, it provides in a simple clear way for the end user the conditions under which the mixture could be used safely and typically it would be quite short and it would either be appended to the safety data sheet uh, as one or two pages or integrated into the main body of the SDS. Okay, and besides end users, assuming it can also be very relevant for formulators. Um, Leo, how can formulators use Asumi to determine if um, it fits to the exposure scenarios which they receive from their suppliers? As a formulator, of course, you want to help your, the users of your product to use the substance safely. And with, a, with Asumi, you have an overview of how it is normally used within that certain sector. In the ESCSs you receive, you will get the information of how the producer or registrant thinks that it can be used safely and you currently need to manually verify if they are aligned or not. Janice, how can formulators produce relevant SUMIs for mixes uh, when they do not have the full composition uh, available? Uh, because sometimes uh, there's no composition available or sometimes they're using substances for which there is no read registration or chemical safety assessment available. Well, SUMIs will typically be provided by downstream user sector associations mm -hmm. ready for formulators to use as soon as they have a mixture with uh, a registered substance. So there's an obligation to communicate something down the supply chain. And the beauty of this approach is that you can still apply it if you don't have all of the exposure scenario information. As long as the information in the SUMI you want to use is consistent with the risk management measures and the hazards of the other substances 
that the Sumi will still be fine in practice. Leo, do you foresee a link between Kizar and Sweats and Sumis? For Sweats there will be a direct link because it describes the operational conditions and risk management on, under which a substance is being used and that can be placed into Kizar either manually or through an import. Uh, for the Sumis of course much less because Kizar is a tool on the reach and reach is substance related and not mixture related. Final question for you, Janice. Uh, besides this great initiative from uh, DUCC, uh, you're also working at SEPI. Um, what is SEPI doing to assist its members to ensure uh, safety, uh, health and environmental issues? Well, of course, on the REACH side, we're also developing uh, exposure assessment inputs for consumers and for the environment as well as for workers, but more broadly in SEPI we have over 40 other working groups who are developing guidance and best practices for members on a whole range of topics uh, from labelling and safety data sheets, uh, substance risk assessment, biocides, submissions to poison centres, uh, the list goes on. So it's a full service uh, approach at SEPI. Absolutely, it keeps us busy. <laughs> Thank you very much both for your input. As in the Spot the Difference cartoon behind me, we have learned that there are many differences between the use of uh, mixtures in various sectors. Uh, differences that are manifested in specific operational conditions and in the application of tailor-made risk management measures. Um, by correct and straightforward communication of these safe use of mixtures via Sumis, I'm convinced that end users and formulators will be able to ensure a safer working environment for their employees. <music>